It has been uh, sporadically installed in uh, different places that I am aware of. I used to own a, a coffee shop on uh, Church Street, and uh, the year that I moved into my business, I know that another uh, cafe up the street uh, had blue lights in their uh, bathroom. They are blue lights that are meant to deter drug use in public washrooms, and they've been installed in the bathroom at this Toronto McDonald's. Now, the owner of this particular location says that they have been successful in keeping staff and customers safe, but critics say that dimming the light on a major drug problem won't make it go away. Overdose is the leading cause of death of young people in Ontario. In fact, we're losing three people every single day to overdoses. In response to the crisis, some businesses are putting the dim lights in place to make it difficult for intravenous drug users to find a vein. Retail chains and gas stations in the U.S. have been experimenting with the use of this lighting for a few years, as have public spaces in parts of British Columbia and Quebec. The operator of the McDonald's in Parkdale tells City News in a statement, as a local business owner, I want to ensure the very best experience for my guests. Two months ago, we decided to install blue lighting in the men's bathroom at my King and Dufferin location. Since the installation, we have seen a significant decline in the number of EMS calls at this restaurant. Here, Board of Health Chair Joe Cressy says this highlights the need for more safe injection sites to help battle the issue. You find when we open an overdose prevention site, people don't have to use in the washrooms because there is a safe place to use under a nurse's supervision and also a safe place to not only stay alive, but hopefully access treatment as well. According to recently released data from Toronto Public Health, 68 people have died as a result of opiate overdoses in the first four months of 2019. That's nearly double the amount from the same time last year. But public health says that they were only made aware of these blue lights after City News inquired about them. Harm reduction advocates say the lights don't get to the root of the epidemic. It doesn't stop necessarily people from injecting. So you're actually causing those individual uh, consumers of drug of, of even more harm, not to mention that you haven't made for adequate um, disposal of those needles and sharps. I've had um, experience where I've had somebody OD in my bathroom with the door locked and I had to, it actually happened New Year's Day a couple of years ago. Mike Shepard owns the Trinity Common Bar and Restaurant in Kensington Market. It's located right across the street from a safe injection site that recently lost provincial funding. He does not have blue lights in his restrooms and no plans to install them. Instead, he's advocating for the supervised site to stay open, saying the alternative is much worse for the neighborhood. The stress it's putting on emergency services when you don't have the safe injection sites they're dealing with more overdoses on the street clinics that have been open in vancouver for over a decade their stats show that they're in a double digits of percentages of getting people into treatment and out of drug use which is the whole end goal. Toronto Public Health says they don't have any numbers in terms of how many businesses are actually using this method. They are urging any drug users never use on your own and use a safe injection site whenever possible. Tammy Sutherland, City News.